to the banks of the river Tyne Take me home to the place that I call mine It's a place I love best Cause it's better than the rest Take me home to the banks of the river Tyne There's lights that burn so brightly In the northeast sky they shine From the place that Jody's worship Where legends were number nine You can travel right round the world Even meet the Pope in Rome But nothing beats the feeling Of when you come back here to home No matter how life changes We'll never be far apart The North East always home And it's always in your heart Take me home to the banks of the River Tyne Take me home to the place that I call mine Ah, good morning everybody, welcome to It's All Black and White TV And uh, yesterday it's the England Under 21s versus France Under 21s The game that I am actually going to So if you like what you see then please smash the likes It really does help the channel with the search results so smash those likes, that's absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much indeed for that. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, then please hit the subscribe for it. You do so, helps the channel grow. And that bell notification will tell you when I'm live, have a pre-record or any upcoming shows. So I'm currently on 451 subscribers as it stands at the moment. So on the way to 500. <clears throat> yes, um, so today it's England under 21 versus France under 21 at the King Power Stadium at Leicester. Um, I will be heading there this afternoon on the train. I will be getting the train at quarter past one. That gets me into Leicester for about 10 to 3, um, 5 p.m. kickoff. And I think it'll be a tough game. I think France are a decent side. Um, so it's going to be a good test for England. Um, I still expect England to win this game. My thoughts, England are going to win 2-0. Um, but we see what happens. Um that's my prediction, 2-0 England. Um, <clears throat> Shame Anthony Gordon's not playing because he's not fit, you know, or as he would have probably been in that team today. Um, but there's some key names to look at in that France side as well. I mean, you know, Manu Corny's in there, a player who's been linked with Newcastle. So I'd like to see how he plays, so I'll have a look at him. Another one is Amin Geary, who we were sort of linked to last year. Um, another one who I'd like to have a look at and see what he can offer. Um, so yeah, so there's plenty of talent on the French side. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting game, and uh, we will see what happens. Um, and at the end of the day, it's it's a friendly, so let's see if England come in it. Um, wasn't badly priced for the ticket. I mean, sixteen pound fifty for an adult is not bad at all. That's quite that's quite reasonable. Um, and then twenty five pound for my train stuff. So what forty one pound in total. To be fair, that isn't bad really, is it? So it's not a bad day for going for a match. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. And uh, the rest of the videos you're going to see on here are going to be um, vlogs from my day at uh, the King Power and um, what's happened in the England game. So yeah, so without, so without further ado, let's look. What happened on my vlogs today at the King Power? Ah, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to It's All Black and White TV. If you like what you see, please smash the like. And also, if you're new to the channel, then please hit the subscribe. Um, currently on my way at the King Power Stadium. Uh, it's very busy here because obviously Leicester Tigers have been playing. And uh, obviously their, their match is finished now. And uh, yeah. So, uh, I couldn't meet me way there. I'm coming up towards their stadium, the Leicester Tigers. Um, they've won today, and uh, it's it, the place is absolutely heaving full of full of rugby fans everywhere. Uh, I've just been in a pub there. The Barley Moor had a paint there, had a lovely paint of Guinness because uh, there wasn't any um, Stella or anything. So, had some Guinness that was nice and uh, really good paint. And uh, yeah. 
but uh, so yeah so I'm just making my way uh, to the King Power for tonight's match uh, England versus France under 21 friendly international and uh, hope it's going to be a cracking game and uh, be interested to see what the team news is as I say it's a shame Anthony Gordon's not fit because he could have been in that squad tonight but uh, yeah so as I can see in the distance I can see the Leicester Tiger Stadium um, so if I flick my camera around I can show you the stadium there we go and that's the Leicester Tiger Stadium as you can see in front of me there so there we go the camera back so yeah so I've got to get past this somehow go past here and then find my way to the King Power but eh uh, as I say just a short little uh, vlog while I'm on my way um, apparently the King Power is not very far away from this stadium so uh, when I get there I shall um, I shall be back on and uh, when I get to the King Power I'm going to be doing my Jack because he saw my tweet and uh, Jack who's from the Final Whistle podcast who's a Leicester fan um, <coughs> it said that he'll have a pre-match chat so when I see Jack I'll get him on here and I'll get a bit of an interview with him and find out what he thinks of tonight's game um, but yeah I see there's still people fairly now from the rugby. I don't know how long it has been since it's finished. Um, but yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a little little bit busy with the rugby fans at the moment, but uh, yeah. Now it's time for the football fans to take over. But uh, yeah. So let's hope let's hope England produce a result tonight against France. So I see I'm coming up to the stadium now. Uh, I'll give you another view of the stadium in a moment. It's quite a big stadium for a rugby crowd. Actually, I didn't I, I didn't realise how big it would be. So I was quite I was quite surprised. So yeah, we so there you go. There's the stadium in all its glory. And uh, yeah, Welford Road, Tigers Rugby Club, Welford Road. So there we go, Welford Road Stadium, home of the Leicester Tigers. And they beat Bristol today, I think 46 24, something like that. But I'm not into I think that's what the score was. I could hear somebody talking about. But anyway, guys, if you like what you see, please smash a like and also hit that subscribe button. Free to do so, it helps the channel grow. Um, so I'm off now. I'm off to go and find the King Power Stadium. And then when I get the King Power, I will be back on later on. So for now, it's goodbye. But when I get the King Power, I will be back. So thank you very much for watching and uh, goodbye for now. Goodbye. Ah, good afternoon everybody, welcome to It's All Black and White TV and yes I'm at uh, Leicester City Stadium, uh, the King Power, um, for tonight's game uh, between England under 21s and France under 21s in a friendly international. Um, the sun's lovely here as you can see it's blue sky above me, uh, absolutely glorious the weather now so I think it's going to be like that now for the game. Um, but I'll just show you, I'm currently at the stage, King Power. And obviously the picture of their owner. So yeah, um, yeah, there's quite a few fans here now. It's it's there's quite a, a gathering now. Um, when I looked this morning, well, before I left, there was still um, at about midday. There was still just under 500 tickets left for sale on this game. So um, yeah, so it's going to be close to a full sellout, which is not bad for an under 21 game. Um, but it just shows you how how much people are coming out to support England, especially the under 21s. Um, there's some good French players to look out for in that French squad as well. Um, I mean, the Leeds keep us in that squad, Melier. Um, not that I see I highly rate him, but you know. Um, but one player I do highly rate is a player called Amin Gouri. And um, I tell you what, he's a player I would love in Newcastle. And uh, if he's playing today, I will certainly be keeping my eye on him and seeing how good he actually is. Um, because that's one to watch. Chelsea defender um, Benoit Barrier-Shield is playing for the under-21s as well. So it's quite a good few players in that squad. And um, yeah, but let's hope it's England who are coming out on top at the end of this match. Um, but as I say, you know, it's it's not bad. I got me, uh, I've got me match day program. There you go. Uh, not bad. Yep, four pound for a match program. Not bad at all. Um, but yeah, it's it is it's. 
it's great to see there's quite a lot here I'll just gather around the stadium now oh, there's quite a few fans around now quite a few up there there's a little food outlet there beef burgers one up the road there burger and fries quite there there's quite a gathering here now and um, yeah I, I would go in the club shop but I don't think I'm allowed to video in there um, I may get into trouble for videoing in the club shop I'm not sure if you can or not but I've been in the club shop and had a little look around it so it is quite an, it's quite a big club shop it's not as big as Newcastle United obviously but uh, you know still but at least one thing I can say about the Leicester club shop is they don't have as many training kits as Newcastle United do that's because Adidas don't rip the fans off not like um, Castor who are ripping us off really badly the sooner we get rid of Castor the better because I really am sick of them I just think they're just taking the piss out of us fans and it's just not right at all we shouldn't have to have this and uh, Castor really do need to be jettisoned and just you know kicked into touch um, I am going to meet up with Jack soon who's from the Final Whistle podcast so if you've ever watched any shows with uh, Jack maybe on the Newcastle channel maybe he's been on John's before um, he's on the final whistle and uh, he's going to meet up with me and I'll get a, I'll speak to him as well and uh, we'll do a video with him on and I'll get his thoughts on this game tonight and I'll get his thoughts on how um, Leicester have done this season um, but I'm just going to switch this video around again so there you go as you can see there's a statue there um, of the owner who sadly passed away the boss so yeah so that's the boss um, nice touch from Leicester City for that you know because the man's done a lot for this club hasn't he and uh, so yeah so it's a big up to Leicester for doing that but uh, yeah as I say all in all great to be here and uh, looking forward to the game and, and hopefully it's a cracking game normally England France it's normally a cracking game in whatever sport we play so let's hope let's hope we outdo the seniors tonight you know back in the World Cup we lost to France we should have won that game in all honesty if Kane had to put that penalty away who knows 2-2 could have got an extra time we could have won it in extra time we could have even won it on penalties who knows but that's the way it goes unfortunately and um, but yeah I want to see what Lee Carsley has got for his team tonight yeah and uh, see how well the um, England under-21s play but yeah it, it looks as if it's going to be a cracking game tonight and uh, hopefully it is and as I say, there'll be more to come from me, so just keep an eye out for any more vlogs. But uh, for now, I'm off for now, and I will catch us later. But remember, if you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button. It really does help the channel. And I'm currently on 451 subscribers. So on my way towards the 500, 49 away from 500. We'd love to smash that by the end of March. It's possible, so who knows. Um, but yeah... Uh, but I'll be back later and if you like what you see then please smash the thumbs up it really does help the channel indeed so thank you very much indeed and uh, I will speak to you later bye bye for now hi guys uh, yeah so I'm now in the stadium um, well I'm in the uh, I'm in the concourse area and uh, yeah it's pretty big in here and um, yeah lots of Lots of food outlets around here. Um, prices, food. Six pounds here for a hot dog. Fucking hell. Um, you can have uh, snacks or you can have alcohol. Five pound eighty for a for a pint in here. Five pound eighty. Yeah. Um, you can have bread, Leicester cheese, spicy vegan bean and cheese roll for a fiver. But yeah, hot dog with red Leicester cheese, five pounds. Five pounds, six pounds. Six pounds, sorry. Bloody expensive, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, guys, I've got to go and find me seats. Um, but give me one minute and I'll be back. Bye bye.
Yes, guys, so that's the team's out now. And um, for France tonight, number seven, Manu Pony, a player I want to watch because I think he's really good. So uh, let's see how well Manu Pony does for France tonight, number seven. And uh, hopefully we'll sign him in the summer, but who knows? So let's see. I'll do a scout report on him. But see you later. Bye bye for now. Yeah, so guys, it's currently England nil, France nil at uh, the end of this first half. Um, both sides have played okay. Uh, France have been slightly the better team, I would say. You can tell they've got some good players on that side. Um, they've had a few shots to go. Um, James Trapp had the England goal, was really tested just you know, late in the first half, and uh, he pulled off a terrific save. Um, other than that, a lot of shots have gone over the bar. Um, Manu Coney had a shot which was deflected. Um, Michael Adisi had a shot and his uh, effort went way over the bar. Twice he went over the bar. Um, yeah, and then late in the first half, um, England had a goal goal and uh, Chevalier pulled off a terrific save um, for France, which was absolutely terrific. He looks a good keeper at Chevalier, by the way. Um, Manu Coney, who all us Newcastle fans have all been looking at, and uh, being linked with our club. Uh, he had a terrific first half, I thought he was really good, broke up the play, um, you know, did what he had to do in the midfield. As I see, he had a shot at goal, trying to tear things in midfield. He's got an eye for a great ball, and uh, I tell you what, I hope we go all out for this guy in the summer, because he looks a terrific player, and um, you know, he, he's only 22, and he's only gonna get better. Um, but yeah, overall, not a bad first half. And um, England will be kicked towards me in the second half. So let's hope we see a goal from England and hopefully England can go on and win this game. Um, I'm still holding out for 2-0 to England, but uh, who knows. But yeah, all depends how England play in the second half. And uh, let's hope, let's hope, um, let's hope we do the business and score. And uh, England players warming up then just as he was warming up, they put the horse pipe on and he got absolutely stretched. So I'll uh, just show you that now. Yeah, so that horse came on and he just got absolutely soaked. Um, but yeah. There's not a bad crowd in here. It's probably about 14, 15,000 because one half the stadium's actually all shut. I thought the whole stadium had been sold out, but it's not. So even so, 14, 15,000, it's not bad for a game like this. And um, let's, see, let's see how the second half pans out. But uh, guys, if you like what you see, please smash the like, it does help the channel. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you get down there and hit that subscribe button. But as it stands, it's nil-nil at half time. Speak to you later. Bye-bye for now. So good evening everybody and it's uh, it's England 4, France nil in the second half. England come out wanting it more in the second half, played really, really well. Um, although possession was 50-50 after the 90 minutes between the both sides. England were much a better team in the second half. Um, Emil Smith rose at England on the way with a goal after 50 minutes. And then um, the substitutes who came on, Mariwetti, um, Curtis Jones and um, Ar Jacob Ramsey all scored as well. Made it England four, France nil. Um, France didn't really offer a lot in that second half. England were definitely the better team, and uh, it, it showed how good England actually were. And, and they played really, really well. Um, in front of a crowd of twelve thousand eight hundred and six, 
so not a bad little turnout considering it's an under 21 game and uh, yeah all in all perfect game for England and then uh, Madueke got the uh, man of the match substitute so that says it all um, but yeah Manu Cody went off during the second half wasn't as effective in the second half as he was in the first half but now that was a lot the France team Michael Elise as well but overall England thoroughly deserved this win and uh, it was a terrific win and uh, now it's time for me to head back to the well head back into Leicester the city grab something to eat grab a drink and then get the train home but uh, yeah it's been a great day I'm glad I did this and uh, if you like what you see then please smash the like button it really does help the channel up the search results so smash those likes and also if you're brand new to the channel then please hit the subscribe free to do so helps the channel grow and the bell notification tells you when I'm live have a pre-record of any upcoming shows but once again it's been terrific um, coming to the stadium not a bad stadium here at Leicester um, but yeah overall it's been a great day and uh, you know England beat Italy on Thursday night the seniors the youngsters have just beat France 4-0 tonight England seniors play Ukraine tomorrow in front of a sellout Wembley I expect another win tomorrow from England hopefully but overall very pleased with today's result excellent game if you haven't watched the game then catch it on uh, catch up somewhere on BBC because it was definitely worth watching especially at second half England were absolutely terrific um, but yeah all in all it's been a great time for England and uh, like I say I'm now ready to head back to the city centre so bye bye for now <coughs> well everybody good evening it's all black on my TV here and I'm now sitting in the Bali Moat in the centre of Leicester because my train doesn't leave till 10 past 8 so I've got to make sure I get that um, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please head over there and have a look at my content and subscribe it's absolutely brilliant thank you very much but England winning 4-0 fantastic result all the goals at my end um, like I say I'm now having a well deserved drink and this is what I'm drinking yeah here I'm already I'm halfway through it now you know what she has guys and girls by the way mm. oh, beautiful beautiful goes down lovely too nice but enjoy the rest of your evening and check out all my uploading videos I'll be putting on for my vlogs from today on YouTube. Thank you very much, guys and girls, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye-bye for now. Ass. Hi again. So now it's um, it's quarter to 11, 10.45 p.m. Um, I got home at about half past 10. Um, cracking game today. England 4, France 0. Um, absolutely brilliant result, that. Um you know, uh, Smith Rowe got the first goal, and then um, yeah, three sub substitutes that came on. This they, they scored. You know, so just absolutely brilliant. Maruiki, um, if I pronounce his name right there, uh, yeah, he got he got the second. Then uh, Curtis Jones got the third, and Aaron Ramsey capped it off with a fourth goal. Um, I said 2 0 before I left. I thought 2 0 we would have won, but 4 0 overall. First half was a bit of a one of those half spare France with it, were playing well. And uh, but you know, apart from the, <clears throat> the only time that James Trafford was really tested was from a Manu Corny shot, which he superbly saved up and put over the bar. Terrific save. Other than that, he was hardly troubled in the game. And uh, yeah, first half, Chevalier had to pull off a tremendous save, I think, from Archer at the time, but I couldn't really see because it was down the other end. Uh, thankfully, all the goals were at my end in the second half, so that was absolutely brilliant. And, uh, yeah, 4 nil. England <laughs> turned it around in the second half. They just come out a different side and they looked even better. So whatever Lee Carsley said to them at half-time obviously worked. Um, but, yeah. But thank you for watching my match day vlog. Um, you know, it's the first time I've really done one, so I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be sure to do them again. I hope I can get to a Newcastle game this season, but it all depends on the TV, doesn't it? So, but if you like what you see, then please smash the likes. It really does help the channel up the search results. And also, if you're brand new at the channel, then please hit the subscribe. I think you do so. It helps the channel grow. And bell notification tells when I'm live. Have a pre-record or any up coming shows so thank you very much indeed but yeah 
Um, no, all in all, it's been a good day. Yes, there was a crowd of 12,806 there. I thought it was the full stadium because it looked like it was sold out in place, but it was only half the stadium that was open, which is fair enough, I suppose, because they're probably not going to get 32,000 for an under-21 game. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought England played pretty well and uh, nice turnout. And uh, yeah, so that's from me now. So I'm off now because I'm going to go off to bed because the clocks go forward and you lose an hour's sleep. But uh, whatever you're doing, enjoy the rest of your night and uh, see you on the next show. Bye-bye for now.